back now to our top story. State lawmakers in Utah just waiting for the governor's signature now on a pair of controversial immigration bills. The left calls one bill racist. The right calls the other one amnesty. And now they are saying that Utah could set the standard for many other states in the union on this. We want to see how Leslie Marshall and Lars, Mar Lars Larson call it. Both are syndicated radio talk show hosts, and Leslie is a Fox News contributor as well. All right, panel, so it, you, the, the, the Utah lawmakers have either gotten something very right or very wrong because the, the left hates it in part and loves it in part. The right hates it in part and loves it in part. And yet it has managed to pass a Republican-controlled legislature in one of the most conservative states in the union. Well, I'm so confused, Lars. Basically, what it says is, just so our viewers know, first of all, it requires that the police check the immigration status of anyone who's been arrested on a felony or a serious misdemeanor. So if you get arrested, yep. felony, they're going to check to see whether you're an illegal. So that is a further crackdown on illegals than what now exists. But it also includes the guest worker program that would allow unauthorized foreigners, illegals, to work legally in the state. So it's going to let the illegals get jobs. They have to pay a fine and do certain other things. That's why both hate it or love it. Lars, where do you stand? Listen, if you stop people and they're illegally in the country, it isn't racist to check and see what their immigration status is. And if they're here illegally, take them into custody. On the other hand, the idea that Utah is going to take people who've already come into our country illegally, identified themselves illegally, are working illegally, and then reward them with some kind of semi-permanent status to stay in this country and steal jobs from Americans, that's crazy. And it does seem odd coming from a state like Utah, although you have to remember, in a great conservative state like Utah, Salt Lake City is dominated by liberals like Leslie. <laughs> now, Leslie, the thing is, in order for their waiver program or for their uh, undocumented worker, uh, guest worker program to work, they'd have to get a waiver from the federal government because that's not allowed right now. So they'd have to get the feds to say yes to this. But what say you? Is it a good start? Is it something we could see in other states if Utah gets away with it? Uh, no, it's not. First of all, Megan, we have to look that a very conservative Republican legislature in Utah passed it. Okay, that's the first problem. Right. <laughs> the second, the but, second but doesn't problem that surprise is, you? Doesn't that surprise you that they passed the peace with the good guest worker because, program? Because it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. I mean, Megan, what Lars and other Republicans will constantly argue, and Lars, you know you do, they are illegal. So I think we do agree yes. there that we have a federal law and we have a federal organization, hey, I'll be the first to say, obviously are not doing their jobs as well as they should, and those laws need to be enforced. A, there needs to be no state law. B, this is like indentured servitude. What happens to these individuals? You're saying we're giving you a guest worker permit, but they're still illegal. This is not amnesty because it's not a pathway to citizenship. What are they going to be paid? Minimum wage? They're not legal. They don't come under the guise that other Americans do. So uh, I would say it's racist because it's taking advantage of illegals. It's to benefit the uh, big businesses in Utah uh, and skirting around the federal law. Some on the left, well, really, on. some on the left really like this. Uh, I don't understand. I'm so confused. None of the party alignments no. are fitting. Uh, the America's <laughs> Voice, which is a group in D.C. that favors legislation granting legal status to illegals, comes out and says Utah is the anti-Arizona. Arizona. And they say it's a fantasy that you can drive thousands of people out of your state who are illegal. And this, this is good because it combines enforcement with the idea that those who are settled should be brought into the system, Lars. And they would have no. to be no. already living in Utah. They'd have to pay a fee, pass a background check, and possess health insurance before they could take advantage of the guest worker program. Well, but here's the problem. You understand that they're still not legal in the United States. They don't have a Social Security number. The federal government is going to do that. That means that you've got a whole bunch of problems with trying to semi-legalize their status. And I would think that Leslie would actually like this idea because Democrats like to make people dependent on government. These people would be ultimately oh. dependent. Your status in the country would only be granted by the state of Utah. And, of course, Congress would have to sign off on this, too, well, that's... which means you're completely dependent on government. But that's the key, Leslie. Is it a wolf in sheep's clothing because is there any real likelihood given the current political climate that the government that the feds are going to give a waiver right now it's illegal to knowingly employ an illegal so is there any likelihood mm -hmm. the feds are going to give that waiver so might these republicans in utah be doing sort of a double cross where they get the one bill passed cracking down on the illegals and the other piece that requires a waiver doesn't stand much of a chance 
This is why you have your job, Megan, because you are very bright and not just a pretty face. Because that's, exa that's exactly the problem here. This is sort of like, but look, we're being nice to these people. And the federal government isn't going to sign something where they say, we're going to uh, give temper we're going to give work permits to people who are illegal in your state, but in the 49 other states, bottom line, we have a federal law. States don't need to be enforcing this. And you, if you want to take advantage, so to speak, of uh, the, a plethora of people out there who are willing to do these types of jobs, then you need to provide a pathway to citizenship national level. No. For Utah and <laughs> no. Lars, Megan, and it feels differently. I, I got to run. I got to run. Steve, <laughs> I know you do. Sorry, they're telling me we, we got the news at the White House. <laughs> Leslie and Lars, no great, great job as always. Thanks, Megan. Thanks, Megan.